Comparison of wind tunnel speeds in China, the United States and Russia, Mach 30 in the United States, Mach 20 in Russia, and what is the speed in China? In the field of modern aerospace, the advancement of wind tunnel technology often represents a country's technological strength and military potential. In recent years, the competition between China, the United States and Russia in wind tunnel technology has been particularly fierce. The United States leads the world with its Mach 30 wind tunnel technology and Russia follows closely behind, reaching the Mach 20 level. So how many are in China? For now, China's wind tunnel laboratories have made important breakthroughs in wind tunnel technology. According to relevant data, China has successfully built the JF-22 Ultra High Speed Wind Tunnel Laboratory, which is a wind tunnel laboratory capable of simulating Mach 35 high-speed airflow environment. Moreover, the laboratory has a diameter of 2.5 meters and can simulate high-temperature environments, ranging from 2,500 degrees Celsius to 18,000 degrees Celsius. If the extreme simulation altitude is 100 kilometers, the pressure environment can be set to a simulation environment from 100 atmospheres to 10,000 atmospheres. The test speed range can reach Mach 5 to Mach 35. Therefore, the completion of this wind tunnel laboratory is also of great significance to China's aerospace industry. First, it provides a highly realistic environment simulation platform for China's aircraft research and development. During high-speed flight, aircraft will face various extreme conditions, such as high temperature and high pressure. By conducting simulation tests in wind tunnel laboratories, we can better understand the performance and adaptability of aircraft in different environments, providing important reference and guidance for R&D personnel. Secondly, the completion of this wind tunnel laboratory also reflects China's scientific and technological strength in the aerospace field. Simulating the high-speed airflow environment of Mach 35 is a very high technical problem, which requires solving many aspects of problems such as airflow stability, temperature control, etc. China's ability to successfully build such a high-performance wind tunnel laboratory not only proves China's maturity and breakthroughs in wind tunnel technology, but also demonstrates China's potential and strength in the aerospace field. However, the completion of this wind tunnel laboratory will bring huge impetus to China's aerospace industry. By conducting simulation tests in the laboratory, Developers can better understand the performance and adaptability of aircraft in high-speed environments, providing important reference for the design and improvement of aircraft. At the same time, this laboratory also provides a high-level research platform for Chinese aerospace researchers, promotes exchanges and cooperation among researchers, and promotes the development of China's aerospace science and technology. It is an important part of the Russian National Aviation Center and is a transonic variable density wind tunnel. This wind tunnel laboratory uses compressor drive and has a large scientific research scale and comprehensive strength. However, compared with the West, Russia's development of air weapons does not seem to be that fast. According to reports from Western media, Russia's publicly disclosed test speed is Mach 20. Having said this, I have to mention, what is the concept of Mach 1? In fact, Mach 1 is equivalent to 1,250 km per hour, and the speed of Mach 20 is already more than 25,000 km per hour. This breakthrough has attracted global attention and shock because if such speed can be applied to aircraft, it will greatly enhance military flight capabilities and make it possible to reach the world at will. 
Nonetheless, Russia still has significant capabilities and experience in the aerospace sector. After all, Russia has a long history and profound accumulation in aerospace technology and has made many important achievements in the aerospace field. Although progress may be relatively slow, Russia is still working hard to improve its scientific and technological strength and research and development capabilities. The Lens X wind tunnel in the United States has successfully exceeded the speed of Mach 30 in current tests. Mach 1 is equivalent to 1,250 km per hour, and the speed of Mach 30 exceeds 36,000 km per hour. If such speed can be applied to aircraft, it will greatly enhance military flight capabilities and make it possible to reach the entire world at will. Such a breakthrough is also of great significance to the U.S. aerospace industry. The development of high-speed flight technology can bring many military and civilian advantages. In the military context, high-speed aircraft can reach their destinations faster enhancing the flexibility and efficiency of military operations. In terms of civilian use, high-speed aircraft can shorten travel time, improve traffic efficiency, and bring people a more convenient travel experience. However, there are still many challenges to apply Mach 30 speed to actual aircraft. High-speed flight will bring greater air resistance and temperature increase, placing higher requirements on the structure and materials of the aircraft. In addition, high-speed flight will also place higher requirements on the control and safety of the aircraft. Therefore, although the breakthrough of the Lens X wind tunnel is impressive, practical applications still require further research and development. China's major breakthroughs in the field of wind tunnel technology are not limited to technological innovation at the laboratory level. This technological progress has directly affected the development of China's military and aerospace fields. The application of high-speed wind tunnels has given China a huge advantage in designing and testing new aircraft. For example, in the design of high-speed aircraft, Flight conditions in extreme environments can be more accurately simulated and tested, and potential problems can be discovered and solved in advance. This means that China will have a higher success rate and stronger technical support in future aerospace missions. In the design of high-speed aircraft, wind tunnel technology can simulate and test flight conditions in extreme environments, allowing designers to more accurately predict the performance and behavior of aircraft. The application of this technology has enabled China to make unprecedented progress in the field of aircraft design. It not only improves the design efficiency of aircraft, but also allows China to have more accurate predictions and solutions to potential problems. In addition, high-speed wind tunnel technology also plays an important role in the aerospace field. It provides strong technical support for China's aerospace missions, enabling China to have a higher success rate and stronger technical support in its future development in the aerospace field. At the same time, China's scientific and technological progress is also reflected in its impact on the global strategic pattern. With the breakthrough of wind tunnel technology, China's position in the global military balance has been significantly improved. This technological advantage not only enhances China's defense capabilities, but also provides it with more strategic options. At the military and political levels, this technological advantage gives China a greater voice and influence in international affairs. In today's increasingly fierce global competition, the advancement of wind tunnel technology is not only a victory for a single country, but also a victory for all mankind in exploring unknown areas. Competition and cooperation between China, the United States, 
Russia and other countries in this field have promoted the overall development of global aerospace technology. This technological advancement will provide a more solid foundation for humankind's future aerospace exploration. The development of wind tunnel technology is not only a breakthrough at the technical level, but also a reflection of the country's comprehensive strength. China's rapid rise in this field has not only changed the competitive landscape in the international aerospace field, but also laid a solid foundation for the country's future development. On the global stage, China is showing increasingly strong scientific and technological strength and international influence. This is not only a symbol of national strength, but also a reflection of China's role on the international stage in the new era. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.